Fans are still buzzing over the UH men's volleyball team's second straight national championship win. The big win renewing some much needed hope as the athletics department recovers from the pandemic. Sam Spangler has more in his story new tonight at 9. The University of Hawaii was impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, perhaps more so than any other athletic department in the entire country. Now, even as they still deal with the financial ramifications of that, sunny skies are starting to prevail here in Manoa. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to the University of Hawaii Rainbow Warriors, your 2022 national champions. I think the sky's the limit. I, I think what we're seeing now is the beginning of the Manoa miracle. With even former President Obama shouting out the bows, the department is rolling. What you really see is you see all of our coaches and student athletes supporting each other and celebrating this. I mean, not you know, obviously you you know you're into your sport, but but when when you see them coming out rejoicing with this team, I, I think it's just you know I think winning begins winning. But it wasn't so long ago that the athletic department was stuck with canceled seasons, a lagging lack of fans due to restrictions, and the condemnation of Aloha Stadium. A 6,000 strong spring football game attendance predicts much demand for the fall season, but a desire to expand Ching Stadium past its 9,000 seats is on hold. There's been some challenges with steel. Uh, obviously, finances come into it a little bit. Uh, right now, um, we have some more information in the next month, but we're, we're hoping to get some expansion by before the 23 season. The legislature earmarking $350 million in the 2023 budget for the new Aloha Stadium Entertainment District helps. When you're recruiting saying, you know, we have the funds for it, now it's just a matter of um, getting the timeline done. Uh, and, uh, and then, you know, then what you want to see is a shovel going on the ground, and then you can point it saying it, it's going, it's happening. University of Hawaii Rainbow Warrior Game Day. Matlin says the pandemic took 8 to 10 million in revenue away, leaving athletics with a $6 million deficit this year. We're looking to um, trending in a much better place right now. Uh, you can just see from our, the way our ticket sales are going, donors are going, our sponsorships, um, even getting some support from the legislature, which is great and very appreciative. Uh, I think next year we're, we're, we're headed in, a, in, a, in a, a very positive financial direction, and we're just looking forward to having fans at every game and concessions. Now, Simplify Arena has become the mecca of collegiate volleyball. Matlin is ambitious about bringing the NCAA Men's Championship here in a few years. He is optimistic, but says it will take some time. Sam Spangler, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.